Today, we're going to take a look at how to make an online flipbook using flipsnack.com. So once you've signed in or set up your free account, you're going to go ahead and click on New Flip. Now, for students, they don't have to use this website at all. They're going to create their document in whatever publishing program they want, whether it's Publisher, Word, PowerPoint. And when they're done, they're either going to save it or convert it to a PDF. And once it is converted to a PDF, now it can be turned into a flipbook on flipsnack.com. So we click the Browse button. And again, I'd probably suggest maybe you know just the teacher has this, or for older students, they may be able to have their own account set up. But we find our PDF that we'd like to turn into our flipbook. And we're going to go ahead and browse and put that on there. Now, obviously, the bigger your book, the um, longer it's going to take to upload and to convert. So while this converts, again, I want to talk about some of the advantages of this. You know, it's really nice that it just takes one account. And so there could be one person in the classroom who's responsible for uploading their finished PDFs um, to FlipSnack. And so I'm going to go ahead while that is running. I'm going to give this a title at the top. So this is going to be our tech demo for today. And hopefully within just a minute or so, um, this will be loaded and ready to go. So, All right, so as we can see now, our PDF has been uploaded and converted, so it's ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Next button. And when we do that, we're going to see we have some choices. We can choose the type of template. I'm going to leave mine as Classic Flip. Um, we get a preview, whether we're looking at it in the widget format or in the full screen preview. We'll go ahead, we can adjust some settings. What do you want the shelf to look like? Um, you know, I have this, I, I like this one because it has the book sitting on a shelf, but if you don't like that one, just want the classic. You can just sit against a background that you can kind of choose the color or texture for that. You also have some other options down below. So when you're finished there, you simply click finish. And now what you're going to have is you have a finished flipbook on flipsnack.com. So we can see here is the example here. This is a presentation that I'm getting ready to do and actually recording this demonstration for. And so now we have that as a flipbook. This can be put as a link on a website. Um, so here is a direct link to that. Obviously, we can also embed it here. There will be a watermark because we're using the free version. If you did want to pay, you could get embedding or downloading of this um, without any sort of um, flipsnack.com watermark on there. So that's all it takes to create a flipbook, and so we hope you enjoy using flipsnack.com.